At the boys' home, Junction City, Kansas, New Directions, over on the west side of JC. Uh, and man, this is therapeutic to me, uh, just to talk about all this stuff, because I really haven't kept in touch with maybe like, maybe like three or four people is what I've kept in touch with from people that I was in the boys' home with. And there were over like 30, 40 people in here at one time. And uh, when I talk about this stuff, I'm not trying to, you know, glamorize this or like be like a bad, uh, sound like a tough guy or anything. It's just the fact that, man, I was troubled, man. My home situation sucked, man. A lot of people don't know that. You know, I was a jokester and everything with, with uh, along my group of friends. We cracked jokes and everything, man. But I was dealing with a lot of hurt, dealing with my mom. You know, my mom was frustrated. Still to this day, can't get over shit that happened 33 years ago. And stuff like that. And I had to endure that pain, man. And she doesn't realize that she fucked me up with that. A lot of anger I had towards me. Every Everything that she disliked about me was everything that I picked up from her. So it was like she, it was self-hatred and stuff like that. So she just, it was just easy for her to blame it and convey all her issues on me in order for her not to deal with her own issues and troubles. But um, here's the entrance of the boys' home. We'll just sit down right here. Maybe I'll just sit down over here. We used to sit down right here whenever we had time to get out the building. We would go over uh, a couple blocks down. We would go to the rack and the Boys and Girls Club, play basketball. And it's crazy because <laughs> um, a lot of the people that uh, knew we were from the Boys Home would always start shit, like all the fools from JC, because they knew that we couldn't do anything. So they'd always talk shit and stuff like that. But it's all, it's all different when, you know, you get out the Boys Home, you see these same fools and stuff like that. Then it's a different story. But, you know, it just goes to show you that... Um, you know, people like to, um, they test you and stuff like that. When you know uh, you're already in trouble, you can't do anything, they feel like they could be tough and everything and start and start stuff and say whatever. But, um, but yeah, I met a lot of good people from uh, the boys' home, man. Uh, I'll probably say their names in the next video, but uh, a lot of guys from JC, Topeka, Wichita, you know, around that area, um, that had a lot of potential, but they just didn't see them themselves because the environment they were in or they had to keep up with the, a, a, um, like a certain code. You know, I met a lot of fools from Wyandotte County, a lot of fools from Wichita, Kansas. And uh, like I said in an earlier video, uh, I never knew that Wichita had hoods. I never knew Wichita was that bad or that big until I came to the boys' home. And uh, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. Um, man, Wichita is a different breed of people, man. Wichita... Wichita, Kansas, man, those fools made Kansas City look soft. I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just speaking from my experience. Maybe it was just a group of people I was in here at the time, but uh, there were a lot of people that, um, a lot of people that would, uh, like the Crips and the Bloods and stuff like that. Uh, it's all good, man. <laughs> a lot of Crips and the Bloods and stuff like that, uh, uh, and stuff like that from Wichita just didn't care. But I, uh, damn, it's just crazy, man. Just how much time has changed and like I can still sit here to this day years later and uh talk about how this place really impacted me because at the time it was either the boys home or it was white cat for three years and Mr. Barry gave me three chances that third time I got it right though that third time I stayed for 11 months and uh saved up so much so much money working two jobs because I was the only one that already had a degree graduated well not a degree but I already had my high school diploma and stuff like that and I just took advantage of that so Snappy Vreen, show the brand name tattoo to be official. Hit me up at Facebook.com. So that's any PPYVRE7. No fake excuse, face the truth, and taste the proof. Asiago.